for a second on the interview. Uh, mm -hmm. We're so happy to be here at the Chinese Museum in DC, yeah. Chinese American Museum in DC. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me what motivated you to build a museum, such a museum in DC? Sure, sure. Um, there are other Chinese American museums and the great uh, museums in this country, but there are uh, to date no uh, museums in Washington, D.C. that focus exclusively on the Chinese American experience. So we, uh, you know, we, we realized that uh, the 22 million visitors that are coming to D.C. every year are not hearing and experiencing a very important part of American history, which is the Chinese in America. Uh, the Chinese uh, have been here since, for over 200 years, since about 1815. But you'll find that the average American really has very little understanding or concept or appreciation of uh, Chinese contributions and uh, their experiences in this country. So, you know, we are looking at the early uh, history of Chinese in America and also the relationship between China, the country, and the U.S. Uh, there were a lot of uh, interesting interactions that really shaped the way this country formed. Um, a lot of people know about the Chinese and the building of the railroad in early America. But uh, I think that a lot of people don't realize that um, uh, there's a lot of history that is not told, which um, some of it being the uh, 1882 uh, Chinese Exclusion Act. Um, I think if you ask the average American uh, about it, they may not even know what that is. And uh, it's a significant uh, piece of history uh, that really tells us not only the sto a story that's relevant to Chinese Americans, but it's a story that's relevant to all Americans about how um, various groups that uh, came to this country uh, really have struggled to, uh, to be accepted, to uh, have the same rights and um, uh, citizenship even. Uh, for some. Right, right. Yeah. Um, Sure. There are uh, a number of really great, not only uh, museums, but also organizations. But um, in uh, New York, there's uh, MOCA, the Museum of Chinese in, uh, in America. Uh, there's the Museum of Chinese, um, the Chinese American Museum in Chicago. Uh, there is the Wing Luke Museum that focuses on Asian Americans uh, in Seattle. Uh, San Francisco has the uh, Chinese Historical Society of America, uh, and uh, there's also the Chinese American Museum of Los Angeles, and there are others too, but uh, I think the point is, is that uh, we are not the only Chinese American museum, but we have a really unique opportunity here in D.C. to tell uh, the Chinese American story more from a national perspective, and also, um, so to speak, plant a flag in the ground uh, in this city of museums, a very museum-centric uh, uh, community, uh, that uh, this is a story to be told. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm sure our audience would love, would love to visit this one as well as the others. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit about this museum? What the, what's the progress so far and mm -hmm. where will it be open? So uh, this museum began uh, as an idea in just 2017. And by November of 2017, we've already acquired, through the help of a couple of our key benefactors, uh, this uh, five-story mansion um, in uh, um, Embassy Row in Washington, DC. And uh, it's, we're only five blocks from the White House. So, uh, we have been, uh, over the last uh, year, renovating and modernizing this building to become a state-of-the-art museum. We're still, that's still in progress, uh, but as you walk around, uh, you'll see that uh, it's a really beautiful uh, space for uh, the museum. The building itself is a destination to see, 
But uh, you know, once we fill it with the stories and the uh, histories of uh, Chinese Americans, it, it really will come together, uh, and it'll be a, a really a great place to visit. Yeah. What kind of topics would the, would the museum touch upon? Mm -hmm. So I think we can look at it in a couple different categories. Uh, there is obviously the Chinese American history of early uh, immigrants to this country, early arrivals, uh, beginning in 1815, um, uh, looking at the reasons why they came and their experiences in early America, um, and then uh, the effects of the China's Exclusion Act, which really uh, persisted not only until it was eliminated on paper in 1943, but really all the way through uh, the Civil Rights era and the 1965 Civil Rights Act, that uh, you really, uh, uh, you've really seen the effects of uh, that legislation. Uh, we have a great opportunity here not only to talk about that past history, but also talk about some of the cultural exchanges between China and America, uh, particularly in the early days of, of the country. And uh, obviously, we want to talk about the cultural uh, uh, um, influences that uh, Chinese American culture has had and how Chinese American culture even has deviated a little from Chinese culture and uh, you know, has become its own, its own thing. And then, we really have a great opportunity to not just talk about the past, but talk about contemporary Chinese Americans, uh, their accomplishments, um, their, uh, their vision, and the future that's ahead for uh, Chinese in our country. Wow, that's, that's great. I just heard that your, the museum is um, collecting items from the public, is that right? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what kind of items? Right. Are so we're, we're still in a very early stage of development for this museum. Um, we are looking at all sources for objects that will necessarily help us um, tell the story, uh, the Chinese American story. But, um, and some of them are very formal sources, but we also are putting a call out to uh, everyday Chinese Americans because some of that history may be in their basements or attics, uh, relics from the past, things that, objects that really help illustrate um, the dynamic nature of the story that we're telling. So they may be things from garments to uh, tools to photographs, diaries and books. Um, it really uh, is quite open-ended, but um, there is a process, uh, if you have an artifact that you think will help the museum uh, tell the story, uh, whether you are interested in donating an object or uh, putting the object on loan, um, we urge you to visit our website and uh, you can find more information about how to um, uh, put your item up for consideration for the museum. Oh, we hope so. Hopefully that's, that's a result. Absolutely. Um, but um, can you tell me what kind, of, kind, what kind of messages are you trying to deliver mm -hmm. to the American public or the American museum? Right. Sorry, yeah, that's a good question. Um, this museum is not just for Chinese Americans. This museum is for all Americans, and we really hope that the people that come to this museum are uh, drawn from all different groups, because there are a lot of interesting not only is the story interesting, but it also provides a lot of lessons about who we are as Americans. Um, I think the main message that this museum is delivering is that the Chinese American story is an American story. We want people to um, come here and have a, just a deeper understanding of the experiences of Chinese Americans in this country, such that they can see, whether that, whatever their heritage, they can see some of that story in their own story. Um, so whether or not you're um, from Brazil or Mexico or 
Eastern Europe or some other part of Southeast Asia, um, you know, that you uh, find a connection to not just Chinese Americans, but to all Americans. And I think that's the role that a lot of the other heritage museums that you could find in this country and in this town, um, uh, you know, that's really the importance of you know, the stories that they're telling. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, and can you tell me why it is important for the Chinese American communities to have such a museum here? Sure, I think, you know, um, I, I might have said this earlier, but um, having a museum here in DC is somewhat of a flag planted in the ground that is telling everybody that, um, you know, that our culture is relevant, that our story is important to be told, and that um, there is a story to be told, and that uh, there's a history that a lot of Americans don't necessarily know. Uh, and hopefully that they will not only be surprised to learn, but it will foster greater appreciation for uh, the Chinese that are in this country.